welcome Red Ice members. We are talking with Hugh Montgomery about the God Kings of Europe, the God Kings of England and the God Kings of Utrimer, the uh, trilogy uh, of books as it were. We're uh, kind of jumping a little bit back and forth and uh, that's okay. It's very interesting hearing about Hugh's research and uh, theories. Um, and I want to begin this segment to zoom out a little bit more and, and talk about the origins uh, of many of the dynasties that we've been talking about so far. Uh, Mesopotamia, Sumer or, or Babylon. Uh, Hugh, I, I, I took notice that you before when we talked about Babylon in, in the first segment said these beings. Um, maybe you can clarify that a little bit because I've, I've always wanted to know what the root of the idea of a king is or you know who who, who was the first king and, and why did he or, or even she, if we're talking about a queen here, get to be in a position like that. What's your idea, Hugh? <laughs> 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 okay. Well, I really don't know. I suspect it was simply a question of who could bash the hardest. Really? And, Is that so? And who could cut off the most heads? But that, that, that's purely my idea. That's I not, don't know. That's not very noble, is it? <laughs> no, probably not. But I suspect that that's how it happened. Sheesh, really? Whoever, whoever wielded the biggest club became king. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, but, in, yeah, in this, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit sort of. Um, Sure, um, sure. No, but but the reason you're you're you said these beings, right? But that was just beings. Yeah, the, I I specifically because I raised my eyebrows when you said that these beings down there, you know, it's like I'm not saying that you mean meant that these were aliens or anything like that. No. I'm just thinking oh, no, that. No, no, if it's... I said be, no, no, I, I mean, it was simply that that. Sorry, I, I was using that in in the the general sense that they they that they were down there that they were humans. You know, uh, right, right, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> but there, but there's, but there's no, as you, uh, you have no ideas, theories about, you know, how how this all got started. Because again, I, it's very difficult. It's very loose and and very much on the speculative level here. I understand that. But uh, I mean, the idea of of nobility, aristocracy, and the royal bloodlines. I, you know, how the heck can something like that get, even get started? It's it's just it's a puzzle to me at least. And I just wanted to you know if you have uh, well, some input on it. You see, I'm not. I'm not terribly sure that this business of bloodlines... Uh, uh, l l let's do two, two different things. L let's talk about nobility first. Mm -hmm. Nobility meant really one thing and one thing only, and that is that the people were known. Nobilitas meant you were known. Right. In other words, um, you were known to the authorities, the king, whoever it was, usually because you owned land or because you controlled land or you controlled people. Mm -hmm. You know, you might have been the chief of a clan, so you had a lot of warriors, so it was someone that you had to take notice of, so you were a noble. Now, you may or may not have had a title. You may have just been a chief. You might have been a king. You might have been an earl. It doesn't matter. Nobility was simply someone who was known. So that's sort of one thing. But as regards bloodlines, I actually think that this is a very modern idea. I don't think that prior to, I don't know, maybe the Victorian times, maybe a bit earlier than that, anyone was terribly worried about bloodlines in the sense that we use them today. Mm -hmm. um, for example... In the feudal system, the king owned all the land, and he gave it out to his um, tenants-in-chief and made them an earl or a baron or whatever it might be. But if they rebelled against him or he got fed up with them, he could take it all away again. So mm. the idea of the, all of this thing being inherited um, is quite modern. It, it's probably not until... Oh, 13th, 14th century, really? We start getting this idea? Mm -hmm. So it, it's it's relatively modern idea, I think. And particularly there's this business of bloodlines, which everyone's getting terribly worked up about, particularly sort of bloodlines from Jesus business. Well, yes. 
that's terribly modern. I mean, that, that's sort of in the last 20, 30 years or something, I suspect. Because quite frankly, I mean, it seems to me a, a, a bit of a silly thing. If Jesus was an ordinary human being mm. and he married and had children, then what was the big deal about being descended from him? Exactly. One of my and questions. If mm. he wasn't, if he was a god, then you're not descended from him. So <laughs> you can't both have your cake and eat it. Right, right. So, so, so I, I'm not so sort of terribly into that. I, I mean, I use the words because there aren't any other words to use, but um, I, I'm sort of, to a fair amount, I think it's sort of slightly tongue-in-cheek. Mm, okay. Um, so, you know, the importance of the, you, you don't put any any big importance on, on the fact, because that was one area that I went, did want to get into with you about, you know, if you put the connotation that Jesus was more than a man, then I can understand that there's, you know, interest in that, so to speak, that, there, okay, there's something different there, and what that might be can be argued about, obviously. But, uh, so what you're saying, basically, is that you don't put too much of a weight behind I put, this. I put absolutely none in it. I mean, hmm. to me, I'm much more interested in the Odonic line, which has... Um, at least the concept of a god king along the line. What de- what defines that's much more interesting? That the coming all the way from from Mesopotamia right through into Scandinavia, then coming down into Europe, etc. That is interesting to me. That's that's much more interesting than than this 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 Davidic line of Jesus business. What, what defines a god king? Are there certain properties? Well, I mean, quite then? literally, I mean, you know, like the pharaohs were god kings, they right? Were, the representative of God on earth, or of a particular God on earth. Mm. And in the case of the pharaohs, they were, I don't know, the representative of Osiris or Isis, if they were female. In the case of, of the Kassites, presumably it was Marduk. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, they were the the physical incarnation, if you want, on earth of the God. And this is something that runs in a family line then as well, or do you keep? You know, there, there must well, be something that you're keeping that on then, because. Um, yeah. Look, I mean, just let, let's just take for example. Supposing that I'm right, and that Jesus had these children, and that they all had descendants. Mm-hmm. So, how many, you know, how many people are going to descend from him? Probably between one and a half and three million. Very many, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, so what's the big deal? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, so, get, you know, we get back to it. The fact that, you know, you're, you might descend from a Kassite dynasty is interesting mm-hmm. because that is actual, as far as I'm concerned, uh, really historically um, something that, you know, and, and particularly if there's this um, CCR5 Delta 32 thing. I mean, yes. that's interesting. Yes. Because that is a... Uh, that has a point, if you see what I mean. Yes, exactly. It's, yeah. it's a property there in, in the genetic code or whatever. That, exactly. that Yes. Yeah. But the other, I just find, well, okay, so what? Yeah. You know, I mean, it's not as even if, as if Jesus had the best claim to the throne of Israel. Mm. You know, there were, there were three other claimants mm. who actually had much better claims. There was the Exilarch in Baghdad, um, the Exilarch in, 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 um, in Western Europe, and the Nasai in, in, in Jerusalem, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. all of whom had much better claims to be uh, head of the Davidic line. Hmm. What, what if if you are a uh, devout Christian and, and your you know belief in this is that Jesus was a god? Then there is another obviously important aspect to that. That would obviously uh, then that person obviously have to also believe that that Jesus had children, of course, which which might be a little bit of a an oxymoron, if you want to put it that way, but but do do, do you think that there is yeah. is some kind of uh, uh, I mean I've heard this for instance that that there is an interest in who let's take the Pope for instance he's the vicar of Christ right he is the stand in yeah. p- p- uh, representative of God until the time that Jesus comes back right yeah. so could there be some kind of uh, discussion here about who actually owns the entire planet in regards to <laughs> <laughs> descendants of Jesus. I doubt it's not. Oh, no. You know what I mean? Somehow I don't think so. Right, right. Uh, no, I, you know, um, that sort of discussion is uh, is a bit esoteric for me. It is, yeah, but it's. <laughs> 
kind of interesting, I think. Anyway, <laughs> we can. I'm afraid I'm a little more down to earth than that. Absolutely, no I, worries. I, I yep. tend to yep. deal in documented evidence and what you can extrapolate from it, rather than sort of um, highfalutin theories about, um, well. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Uh, and and a quick uh, note, I guess, on on the bloodlines business again. You mentioned 15th, possibly 16th uh, century that this was brought up and and made. Could you could you do you think that this might even be a, a legal thing? Maybe that this is monetary interest. You know, keep it keep the wealth in the family, so to speak. Oh, that type of thing. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes, completely. Mm. I mean, this whole business of sort of the intermarrying. Of 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 the various families, um, you know, it was all to do with keeping the land in the family, uh, keeping the titles in the family, uh, keeping the money in the family. Mm. That's what it was all about. Yes. And you know, you didn't marry for love, for goodness' sake. You married because um, so and so brought a dowry of this, that, and the other to to this one, and and. Um, You know that meant that the the bit of land which uh, was adjacent to theirs now belonged to them, and so on. Yes, yes. Um, so uh, at this point, then we know that you don't uh, place too much weight behind the fact of of who is descendants of Jesus or not. But uh, do you think, or do you believe, or do you have evidence for that that there are descendants of this man alive uh, today? What's your take on this? Well, if 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 the um claim of the Elchizites to descend from Jesus is correct. And I believe it probably is. Uh, belief is probably the wrong word. Um, there is substantial documentary evidence to suggest that, mm -hmm. I think I should say. Mm -hmm. um, then, when they married into the Odonic dynasty, uh, when, when Atta Ulf and Maria married, well, I don't even know if they did marry. I mean, you know, she was just one of many wives or concubines he had. Mm. But um, from that descends a line, and we can trace that line. Okay? Yeah. So those two lines are traceable right down to today, at least as far as documentary evidence. Is okay. Concerned. However, that presupposes that all the wives for the last 2,000 years have, you know, um, haven't um, um, had a lover on the side. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. Because, you know, if they weren't faithful to their husbands, then, well, the fact that there's documentary evidence that they got married means nothing. Right, right. So what what, uh, what houses or, or lines are we talking about here? Any names that we know? Oh, well, certainly. I mean, the House of Norman, I mean, for example, uh, all of the royal families up in, 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 um, in Scandinavia, with, I think, the exception of Sweden, because... You went and got a, 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 a French, French marshal in, didn't uh, you? Absolutely, and before that, uh, Vasa, that was actually from Poland. So we we lost the Swedish line of kings a long time ago. So yeah, well, okay, but um, certainly the Danish, um, and from the Danish you get German and and and, um, and Greek uh, lines. You get the the line, the the present line of the the. Um, the British monarchs, and so on. Yeah. And, and certainly the line of the Valois of France, the Bourbons, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yes, I mean, all, all of those lines um, descend either the male or female from one or other of the Unvunga dynasties. I see. Um... And indeed, I mean, you know, there's a, there's a whole lot of others. Um, I mean, for example, the, the, the cousins of of William the Conqueror. I mean, you know, uh, you had Beaumont, O, uh, Fitzosborne, Montgomery, and I forget what the old one was called. Um, you know, they all have descendants. Mm -hmm. And many of the European houses obviously are, are connected as well. They are, they are. Would you say that all... I would 